I'm supposed to be on vacation today, out of town for a few days in a nice cottage by the sea. Well, guess not. I'm clearly set up to lose once again. <sighs> I'm fucking tired of losing. Frankly, I don't want to be here. I want to make it clear, I'm doing it under duress. So it's a waste of time. Let's do it so I can fucking leave them. I saw you drinking moonshine out there, and I'll join you with a cup of tea from my land. Oh shucks, well, here's to you, friend. Hey, you're the hillbilly, I presume, right? Howdy, I'm Hillbilly Scribs. What can I do you for? My name is Ishan Bajpay. I'm the one true Kingslayer in this league. I heard your call. Oh yeah, I wasn't sure if anybody heard that. I'm here to join your faction and help you in correcting the many, many wrongs of this league. I mean, it's getting ridiculous, right? Yeah, you can sure say that again. You know, I came here just to do some of this movie trivia and maybe one day get on the schmodown and, you know, maybe just have a little bit of fun in the meantime. But ever since I got here, these mean fellers like that Ruby guy, they've been picking on me. And don't get me started about that scary doll lady and all of her weirdo friends. They give me the EBGB something fierce. Yes, we shall clean up this league, especially this Reuben, the false Kingslayer. Oh, I don't even want to associate the Kingslayer with his name. So, what you're saying is you're here to help me deal with all these rascals and clean this place up? But first, my good man, let's see if we can't clean you up a little bit. And how about we do something about that dreadful speech? Huh? What are you talking about? I done bathed once this week, and I ain't ever learned no speeches. Oh, no, no, good sir. We must improve the manner in which you speak. Repeat after me. The rain in Spain stays mostly in the plain. Are you saying it rains a whole bunch on that there Spaniard feller? You think we ought to get him an umbrella? Uh, I guess Rome wasn't built in a day. Mr. Hillbilly, we have a lot of work to do, my friend. Let's get started. Well, all right then. This here fraction is gonna be glorious. What is up, face off fanatics? Welcome back to the movie trivia face off. And today, look at that, we have our first singles triple threat match. And it is to get back in the tournament, so to speak, Snash. What do you think about this one? Oh, yeah, very special match today, a triple threat to play in. Because, as we have said in the past, we had to have a competitor step out for personal reasons. That is uh, El Diablo Australiano, Grant Gregor himself. Well, he has come back. His, uh, his uh, real-life situation has settled out. Everything is good. Uh, everybody's home. Everybody's doing well. And since Grant did play his way in but had to withdraw, and we had another person drop out of the tournament for other reasons, we decided to give Grant a shot to get back into the mat, into the tournament. Now, instead of just handing him that slot back in on the second round, 
We decided that we would take the three highest scoring remaining non-winners from round one of the tournament and make them play. And whoever wins this match will end up playing El Diablo for that slot in the second round of the tournament. We figured as a team that that was probably the only fair way we could do it. And that way it would be the same record of 2-0 and going into that match. Yeah. So here we are today. We've got three fantastic competitors. I know this is going to be a great match. What do you think about it, Dave? Well, first of all, I appreciate and I love how you say non-winners instead of the L word. So, yeah, I mean, we have seen Jimmy win his playing match with a real good performance. We have we have seen Dollface kill it in, in her match against Mariano. We know she can be dangerous, not only in, you know, in general, she's generally dangerous, like every single time she's oh, yeah. here. But she's also dangerous in the second round, as we have seen recently. Oh. And, <laughs> and then we have Ishan, who has some kind of special ability of, you know, uh, taking answers out of his ass whenever, when no one expects it. Yeah, they just kind of pop out of his ear. And, yeah. There they are. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of are you ready to? Are you ready to? Are you ready to have to take another match with Dollface? I know she doesn't kind of, you know. Yeah. You get a little nervous around. Yeah. Quoting, sure, all right? quoting one of the best personalities in the league, she gives me heebie-jeebies, but I will be fine. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's get our competitors in here. All right. Today's match is a three-way, so I'm going to be doing these three intros. Introducing first, representing all things Quebec, Montreal, and all of his ancestry of hating everyone except the people he's around. You know him as the hazard. He is Jimmy Derry. Hey, Jimmy. So, uh, what, you want to keep talking smack about me in your promo? All right. No, it's we'll good. See how Move you on. Move let's on. go. Let's go, Quebecois. You can yell at me in French if you want. The next competitor we're bringing in here today, representing London, England. And this time we have taken away his medicinal, uh, uh, adult medicinal medicine, uh, otherwise known as alcohol. He's not going to have that to help him out this match. He is a fighter. He is John so I have moved back to India. I don't know where the London bit came from, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, you're in India. Happy to oh, be I this. see. Thanks for telling Lucky me. Lucky loser, triple threat. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. With this uh, gigantic whiteboard, you knew at least he's not doing anything else because it takes two hands to hold that thing. And introducing third, definitely not least of all, she's coming from an asylum somewhere in canada we don't have the exact location her doctors don't want to give it up because we might go try to rescue her and i'm looking at my sheet here i'm still trying to figure out where she fits in the hierarchy of, of, of mass murderers but I mean, i'll get the stats team to help me out on that they'll figure it out for me we just simply know her as the doll face ah there she is wait where am i who are you I'm not supposed to have a match today. I lost. I'm not in a tournament. What? What is this? Oh, this is a bad, this is a chance for you to make it back into the tournament there, Dollface. I see. I see. Okay. Well, who do I have to kill to do well, that? You, got, you have to take out a fellow Canadian in the Hazard Jimmy Derry. And then you're going to have to send one of your marionettes across the world to India to take out Ishan. Okay, that's no problem. Well, carry on. Okay. okay. All right, we know Dollface is ready. Ishan, are you ready? Deeply uncomfortable, but yeah, okay, ready. <laughs> Jimmy, are you ready? Not really. Ishan, oh, I'm going to take, I'm going to take your advice. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, is that that special glass that the hillbilly sent you? Some moonshine? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let me let me taste it. I'm good. <laughs> All right, he's ready to go. David the Spaniard, my fellow, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get ready to triple threat face off. 
All right. The rules for today are going to be like this. We have three competitors. That doesn't matter. It's still same standard singles tournament rules. All three of our competitors will receive eight questions from random categories throughout the movie trivia face-off universe. They will be worth one point each. You will attempt to write down your best answer on your whiteboard, pizza box, napkin, whatever you're using today. We do have an exception to that rule, as Dollface is unable to, so she will always be asked the answers first. Otherwise, the other two will show their boards to the camera and verbalize their answer at the same time when asked. There's no penalty for missing a question. There are no steals. Should you get a perfect round score, all eight points, you will trigger a one-point bonus question. You will not have to write that down. You'll just have to answer it. Everybody understand the rules? The perfect round is not going to happen. All right. Well, we all do have three repeats in the challenge each as well moving forward. Let's get right into this triple threat three-way. Here we go. Your first question comes from the category of fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. HAL 9000 is an antagonistic supercomputer in what sci-fi classic? Hmm. This is a nice movie. I, have I love this movie. I have, I have it on digital still. It holds up. Five, four, three, two, one. Heads down. We will start with Dollface. Uh, it's on Astro Yeah, I think. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 I have yeah. that right. All right. It's okay. It's All okay. Right. I can. No, no, I'll give you a repeat. You don't I'll need a repeat. repeat. Okay. Then we'll start with uh, Dollface. 2001. A space Odyssey. And Ishan. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. On a space Odyssey. And Jimmy. Hitchhikers. Oh, and as he said, there goes the perfect round already. Yeah, he jinxed it. <laughs> he I jinxed it. <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> uh, okay. Your second question in the category of action slash adventure. These are movies with boom, bangs, explosions, and Michael Bay. Mm -hmm. In the Fast and Furious franchise, what is the name of Owen Shaw's brother, played by Jason Statham? Well, I think he was a more confident in this answer. <laughs> yeah. I started writing down the questions for the Fast and Furious man, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, Three, two, one. Pens down, please. Okay, so dollface. Shaw. I'm sorry. Repeat the first name. Shaw. Shaw. S H A W. Uh, we are looking for the first name because we said the brother was Owen Shaw. Right. And um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jimmy. Deckard. That's correct. And um, Ishan? Big. Sorry. Uh, so. <laughs> what did I told you? What did I tell you? One point each after two questions. All right. Our next category is one of Dollface's favorites. It is horror thriller. Horror thriller. What is Jodie Foster's character's name in Silence of the Lambs? <laughs> I am never going to see this movie. Oh, I love it. This is a good movie. Do you think nice Dollface do you you do you knows Hannibal Lecter? Five, four, I do, three, actually. Probably two, one. I've probably been, your idol. Yeah, I've been to a few of his parties. <laughs> the nice. is Clarice Starling. That is correct. And we will go to Ishan. Yeah, Clarice Starling. And Jimmy. Challenge, challenge. It says Starling. He wrote down yeah. Starling on his board. Yes. That is her full name, Clarice Starling. It's Sterling, not Starling. And I think it's Starling. Oh. We have a challenge on the board. We'll yes, sir. Right. All right, we're back from that challenge. Well, technically, Jimmy did lose the challenge because the name is Starling with an A. However, we're not really that stringent on spelling in the movie trivia face-off, so we're going to go ahead and give both the competitors a point. We're just going to take away Jimmy's challenge, and he's lost it for the rest of the match. Yeah. So it is a 2-2 tie. Boo-hoo. 
<laughs> that was a strange situation. <laughs> well, anything to take away points, you know. Yo, oh, we gave you yeah. Okay, in the category of comedies. Ahahaha. Ha ha ha. 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 I hope I didn't mess up the pronunciation in those names. Uh, Cameron and, uh, Fox, Sean Peterson, and Ed Rooney. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we go to Jimmy. No, Dollface. No. Nope. Uh, Dollface, Dollface. Yeah. Uh, Paris Bueller's Tale. It's correct. That. Yes, there's Bueller's Day Off. There's Bueller's Day Off. Oh, okay. I didn't Super hear happy. the off part. Uh, yeah. Jimmy, nothing. No, right. And um, Ishan? Ishan? There's Bueller's Day Off. There you go. I apologize. I didn't hear the off part. Okay. So, 3-3-2. Three, three, right. Three, three, two. going in the next question comes from the category of animated films. These are either drawn in a computer or by hand. In Lady and the Tramp, the titular characters were sharing what meal together? Thank God. <laughs> oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Ben's down. We'll go with Dollface. I believe uh, it was spaghetti. That is correct. Ishan. Spaghetti, we will take that answer in. Jimmy, yes, spaghetti. spaghetti. Uh, Ishan, I know your whiteboard is very big, but please try to keep your hands on the screen anyways. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I literally don't know how to do this. I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Your next question, in the category of musicals. Uh, in the musical Mamma Mia, what is the first name of Meryl Streep's character? It, there was a debate about these movies in... In the Discord chat, some people said there were the best musical saga Four, of three, two, late. One. Some other people said they sucked. And no. Dollface? Well, I'm of the opinion that it's awful because I hate ABBA. And <laughs> uh, I've only seen it once. I think it was Victoria? That is incorrect. Uh, Jimmy? Augustine. <laughs> that is also incorrect. And um, Ishan? Donna is correct. Donna Sheridan. So I have 442. Is that correct? Uh, well, if Ishan got that right, that makes it five for Ishan, four for Dolphins, yes. and three for yes, Jimmy. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Five, four, three. Ishan in the lead. Your next question comes from the category of scores and soundtracks. Waiting for the ice to finish tinkling. All right. <laughs> scores and soundtracks. Who composed the score for the Tim Story Fantastic Four movies and some of the X-Men movies, like X-Men 2, X2. I can give a free repeat on that. That's a wordy question. So let me go ahead and repeat that. Who composed the score for the Tim Story Fantastic Four movies and also some of the X-Men movies, like X2? I actually like the music made by this man. Like, it doesn't really, you know, it's not memorable, but I think it fits those movies perfectly. Five... 
four, three, two, one. Um, Hands down, we'll start with Dollface. James Howard. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Ishan. No idea. And Jimmy, any any guess? Uh, I didn't write it down, but I think Henry Jackman. Uh, we're actually looking for John Ottman. John Ottman. Mm -hmm. Not the name I've ever heard of. He did a lot of a ton of superhero superhero movies. To be honest, he did. I forgot to say that that was the penultimate question in this round. Oh. We didn't get to see to we didn't get to hear your dad joke. That's unfortunate. Okay. Your eighth question in the category of famous actors and actresses. Who voiced the Iron Giant in the 1999 animated film of the same name? Pretty sure Jim, Jimmy's got this one because I'm pretty sure we've had this in our training sessions. Oh, I wasn't Five, on that one. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down. And Dollface. Then this uh... That is correct for one point. Ishan. Let's see if he can maintain the lead. And he does. And Jimmy. The, the liquid guy himself. He is Groot. Okay. Right. He is Groot. We are all Groot at some point in our lives, aren't we? Looks like a six six points for Ishan, five for Dolphins, and four after wow. four, this four for the hazard after round one. Good solid round from all of our competitors. I think Jimmy's just got a little bit of ring rust. He'll get that knocked off for round two. What do you think? Anything can happen, man. Like, three competitors in a two point uh, ratio? Like, the wheel is going to kill or rise some of them. So, let's get to it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Off to round two. All right, round two. This is a triple threat match, so we are going to have the three competitors spin the wheel and whatever, whatever category they land on, they will receive four questions. Each question will have a value of two points unless they go to multiple choice, in which case the value of the question will go down to one point. I will remind the competitors they can steal, so if one competitor misses the question, the other two will have 15 seconds to write their best attempt of a steal in their whiteboards. But we are going to go to door face first in case of a steal, because the doctor said we cannot let her near any kind of pen, pencil, or, you know, sharp object because we don't know her to go to India and stop Ishan with it. So... Once, uh, someone with the toy on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you guys don't like the category you land on, you can spin again unless you have landed on opponent's choice, in which case you guys are stick with it stuck with it, I am sorry, and your two your two opponents will confer to give you a category. So, do you guys understand the rules? This was a triple threat, I apologize if I was a little bumpy in the rules. Do you guys understand the rules? Si, sí, senor. Alright. understand. So, Ishan, you are in the lead 6 to 5 to 4. Do you want to spin first or defer to Dollface? Okay, Dollface, do you want to spin or do you want Jimmy to go? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Jimmy! She wants to spin. Oh, I spin. oh I am sorry. She wants to spin. So, Snacks, why don't you list the categories and give it a spin for Dollface? Alright, today's category is on the wheel of doom, gloom, fate, justice, and just outright our action adventure. Matthew McConaughey. Julia Roberts, James Bond, and a lot of ice tinkling, <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock, Fincher Films, Directors, Comedies, 2000s Movies, and Comic Book Movies, as well as Spinners and Opponents Choice. Let me know when you are ready, Dollface. Eh. Your first spin. Uh-oh. Oh, it's oh. Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock. Again. Spin again. We will spin away. All right, here we go. Spin number two. Oh, 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 oh. 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 James Bond. 
James Bond is going to be your category today. All right, I have those James Bond questions ready for you, doll face. First question, which James Bond film has the tagline, you know the name, you know the number? Mm. Uh, I am not really good with James Bond. Uh, Five. To see how I Incorrect. Would Jimmy or Ishan would like to attempt to steal? We'll yeah. start with Jimmy. Well, Ishan, if you want time, yeah. write it down. You know, I, I had written something down. I don't think it's correct. <laughs> All right, we'll start with Jimmy. Goldeneye. And Ishan. And Ishan. I wrote Goldfinger. Oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> that is a two-point steal for the Jimmy the Hazard Dairy in that. That's definitely going to help him out later. Yes. All right, Tom Face, your second question. What is the first name of Goldfinger in Goldfinger? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I uh, you have multiple choice if you need it. Multiple choice. Yes. All right. Your choices are A, Eric, B, Augustus, C, Auric, or D, Eustace. Auric is correct for one point. Uh, Jimmy was ready to steal that one too. Of, of, uh, of course. So we Your have next question. a triple tie. Six to six to six. Three way tie. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting tight just the way we like it. All right. Your next question. What established actor made an early appearance as Dario in Licensed to Kill? Uh, 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 uh. All right, I can do that for you. Your options are A, Andy Garcia, B, Antonio Banderas, C, Javier Bardem, or D, Benicio Del Toro. I like how you pronounce all of, all of, all of those names. Try <laughs> Andy Garcia. That is incorrect. Ishan, do you have a an attempt at a steal? Benicio Del Toro, D. And Jimmy. Benicio de Toro. That is correct for one point steal for both Jimmy and for Isha. Do you think he's on Do you think to he's six to seven? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Your last question, Dollface, in the category of James Bond. We'll wait for the ice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who directed both GoldenEye and then Casino Royale? We're looking for the director's name. <laughs> Certainly. Your options are A, Danny Boyle, B, Michael Apted, C, Sam Mendez, or D, Martin Campbell. It was Martin Campbell. That's correct for one point. Giving you seven total after the end of round two. He has eight. All right, I was corrected by the other members of the production team. It is a seven all tie coming up for the next spin, which we will go to. Ishan, do you want to spin or defer to Jimmy? I go. I spin. All right. <laughs> Let me get the wheel pulled back up. Here we go. Your first spin. Oh, 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 just passed it. Oh, oh yes. 2000s movies. 2000s <laughs> movies. I'll try again. Let's see. Okay. All right. We're spinning away from 2000s movies. Let's see what we end up with. That's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. And comedies. Oh, he makes it the comedies. Comedies. Okay, okay comedies, please. <clears throat> All right, so my phone was being a little stupid, but I have the questions. Ishan, in comedy, who did Kevin Smith's wife, Jennifer Schwalbach Smith, play 
in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. We need a character. Multiple choice, okay, I can do that. It's A, Missy, B, Sissy, C, Chrissy, or D, Justice. A, Missy? Uh, a, Missy? That is correct for one point. All right, your second question. Four rooms was an anthology of four segments, one of which was directed by Tarantino, upon which author's writings were they all based? Who? I am going to I am going to give you a free repeat because it was a long question. Uh, I couldn't get that question. Sorry. Uh, he's gonna repeat. So I am going to give you a, a free repeat. Four Rooms was an anthology of four segments, one of which was directed by Tarantino. Upon which author's writings were they all based? We are looking for... Based. Based, sorry. We are looking for a literature actor. Actor, <laughs> author. Which, which, which writer yeah. are they based off of? Yes. Is it Edgar Allan Poe? That is incorrect, so we are going to give the competitors a few time to try and think about the steal. It's a two-point steal, so... Two-point steal. Books. I don't know how to read. Okay, so... Okay. I think, think Dollface is ready. So, Dollface. Uh, I'm sorry, repeat that thing. Charles? Charles Dickens? Mm -hmm. that, said. That's incorrect. Jimmy? I said C.S. Lewis. That's also incorrect. We were looking for Roald Dahl. Or Roald Dahl. Oh. Oh. Yeah. If, if, it, if it helps the competitors feel any better, Mark, Mark Riley didn't get that answer either. <laughs> You know, oh man, that's we that's are a taking a question, man. For a second round, we are taking offers. Few, we are taking a few jobs up really missing questions in the small now lately. Hey, we love we love Mark Riley. He's a good guy. Yeah, we do. But he missed that question. <laughs> Nicest hair ever. Yes. Okay. Solid hair. They are giving me very very hard to pronounce names <laughs> in these questions. So, Brian. Dean He and Steve Gutenberg <laughs> starred in which 80s film directed by Ron Howard? Brian Dean He. Brian Dennehy and Steve Gutenberg. Yeah. See, they give me the Spanish <laughs> names and they give you the American names. We should have six rounds. Five, four, three. Multiple choice. Okay. It's A. Police Academy 3, B, Short Circuit, C, Cocoon, or D, Three Men and a Baby. Is it D? D, Three Men and a Baby is incorrect. We are going to give them, give the opponents a few time to think or write down the answer. Your options are, by the way, a. Police Academy 3, B. Short Circuit, C. Cocoon, or D. Three Men and a Baby. Oh, um... Dollface. No, I'm, I'm ready. Three Men and a Baby. That is incorrect. That's what Ishan said. That was, that was the answer that Ishan gave that was incorrect. Oh, it was? Okay, well, it's my fault I dropped off, off the tall. <laughs> so, just, uh, skip me. I don't know. Okay. Cocoon is correct for one point. Jimmy. Wow. Jimmy is stealing. A, I won the second round. Jimmy is tied up with Ishan in the lead and he hasn't even spun the wheel yet. The damn wheel. Okay, so. Your last question in the category of comedies, Ishan. Mm -hmm. Who played Danny McGrath? 
the former classmate of Billy Madison who saved him by shooting Bradley Whitford's character. Oh, yes. In Billy Madison. I need a multiple choice. I haven't seen the movie. Okay. A. Norm MacDonald. B. Rob Schneider. C. Steve Buscemi. Or D. David Spade. Is it A? A. Norm MacDonald is incorrect. We are going to give the competitors some time to think. Will I repeat the multiple choices? A. Norm MacDonald. B. Rob Schneider. C. Steve Buscemi. Or D. David Spade. I'll uh, go with David Spade. Steve Buscemi. Buscemi is also incorrect, and Jimmy got it. Steve Buscemi. Jimmy is now at nine points, and he hasn't even spun the wheel yet. Yeah. He and is... then I'm going to spin something I hate. <laughs> Good job, wheel. 987, 987. Jimmy is crushing the steel so far. Jimmy gets a good, right. Jimmy gets a good spin. Whew. He's going to be in a very good All position right. in round three. All right. Got the wheel pulled up. Let me know when you're ready there, Mr. Hazard. All yours. Here we go, your first spin. We're looking at here. All right, all right, all right. Matthew McConaughey. Keep it, keep it. No, I'm gonna spin again. <laughs> Spinning away from McConaughey. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, Spin again. Oh. So. No. 2000 movies. 2000s movies. 2000s I was born. Movies. 2000s movies. All right. Let's see what we can get pulled up here for some 2000s movies, huh? Let's see what I skipped. Okay. All right. I think we have some 2000s movies. Are you ready, Hazard? Yes. All right. Here we go. Who plays Johnny Cash's wife, June, in Walk the Line? <laughs> Shout out to Team Action. I'm sorry, repeat your answer. Shout out to Team Action, Reese Witherspoon. Okay. Your death part didn't come through, that's why I was... I'm sorry. All right, your next question. Which angel was played by Cameron Diaz? That bitch. That bitch. I guess in Charlie's Angels? Yes. Okay. Five, four, three, repeat. two. Repeat. All right, that's your first repeat. Which angel was played by Cameron Diaz? Uh, multiple choice. I can do that for you. Your options are A, Dylan. B, Natalie, C, Alex, or D, Joanna? B, as in boy. Natalie is correct. That's one more point. Giving you 12 so far. You're halfway through round two. Opening your lead. The next question is, in 2009's The Box, what sum of money would the lead couple receive at the cost of someone else in the world dying? One million dollars. <laughs> That's correct for two points. Wow. She's crushing it. All right, your last question. Which British actress does Cameron Diaz swap homes with in 2006's oh, The Holiday? On. Kate Winslet. <laughs> Do you points for his round. Like total of, let's see, four, nine. That's 16 points if my calculations are correct. Yeah. That's why I half a sweat. Wow. 16 for Jimmy, 8 for Ishan, 7 for Dollface after round two. No chance at a steal for anybody with Jimmy rolling right through his category of 2000 movies. That was very impressive. Yes. I'll bring to that. <laughs> okay, Tinkles. <laughs> wow. Thank uh, the you. Ice Cube man has visited. So, we, so if I, if my calculations are not mistaken, both 
competitors, Dolphys and Ishan have to hit all three of their questions if they want to, st to stay in the game in round three. Uh, Dolphys does have to answer all three of hers. Ishan can no. miss his two, but then he has to answer his three and five. So, yeah, yeah. I'm not good at math. Can it, okay. To tie, yeah. Math is hard. I don't think my, my point of three. luck is going to keep running. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to round three. All right, we're back for round three. Jimmy the Hazard has 16 points. Dollface at seven. Ishan at eight. It's going to be interesting. They're going to have to work to get back into this match and keep Jimmy from just kicking him right on out the door. We don't want that to happen. We want to have everybody answer as many questions as possible. So, the rules for round three are going to be like this. All three competitors will choose three numbers between one and... 21, right? 21, yes. 1 and 21. Those numbers will correspond to random categories. Each one of those questions will be worth 2, 3, and 5 points, respectively. There's no penalty for missing a question. There are no steals in this round. Uh, Jimmy has two repeats, no challenge. Dollface and Ishan both still have all their repeats and challenges on the board. Jimmy, you are in the lead. Let's get your three numbers between 1 and 21, please. What's the current score? 1687. There you have it. Okay. 1687 it is. 168 and 7. All right, Ishan, your three numbers, please. A 2, 10, and 11. 2, 10, and 11. And Dollface. I would take 6, um, another 6, and. One more six. <laughs> well, I wish I could do that for you. Unfortunately, we can only do one six. Okay. Well, six, four, and... Uh... Was one taken? No, one is available. Okay. That would All be right. my touch. Okay. Well, number six was the first number you picked. That corresponds to... Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino. <gasps> Okay. Good luck. Point for your two point question in round three. Oh, no, nope, we already had that one. Let me regenerate the question. Okay, here we go. Your question for two points. Tarantino. All right, I have your question in Tarantino for two points. Not including 2019's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. How many Tarantino directed movies has Michael Madsen appeared in? I'll give you some extra time. No. Three. That is correct for two points. You in the game. Good work. All right, so that gives Dolphys a lead of 9 to 8 over Ishan, not a general lead, you know. So Ishan, you selected number 2 for your 2-pointer. You can, you, you know, you can miss this one, but I wouldn't recommend, recommend it. So, <laughs> you selected number 2, and that is famous actors and actresses. And your question is... Who? Who voiced the title character cut in the movie Keanu? <laughs> okay. This is a good question. Five, four, three. In my key? What? Oh, he froze. Key. I cannot hear you. Michael Key. Michael Key is incorrect. So, the cat Keanu was voiced by Keanu Reeves. Oh my god. That was a, that was a, that was a trick question. Yeah, that question. <laughs> I love that question. Okay. It's a trap. You selected number 10 for your three-pointer, and the number 10 corresponds to 2010s. So, your three-pointer, and this one you can't miss, or you are going to be eliminated. 
No bullet, no pressure. Okay. What 2017 released movie won both Best Animated Feature and Best Original Song at the 19th Academy Awards? 19th Academy Awards. 90th. 90th. That's a tough one. Uh, Five, four, three, two. Repeat. Okay. What 2017 released movie won both Best Animated Feature and Best Original Song at the 90th Academy Awards? Remember me? I think it's Coco. That is correct for three points. Good work. Keeping him in the game, giving him 11. Yes. Sending you back over to Dollface to answer. I have to answer her three point question. That's from number four in the category is 2000s films. 2000s films. All right. The three points. In which 2000 film? <laughs> Will you find Tamura Morrison playing the role of Major Rasul? Props to Jungle Fight. Did the question? All right, that is your first repeat. Question again is, in which 2000 film will you find Tamura Morrison playing the role of Major Rasul? Five. All right, this is three. Ten, ten. One. Uh, what? She answered, but I cannot hear her. Still. Oh. Flying around this time. I'm still. Fortunately, that is incorrect. We're looking for vertical limit. And with oh, that, well. Dolphins has been eliminated. I've never even heard of that movie before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Thanks, Dollface. Uh, there's some electro. <laughs> oh, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Dollface. Okay. That sends it back over to Ishan. You ready there, David, for this next question? So, Ishan, this is do or die for you. You have had some kind of record pulling five pointers, so let's see if your luck stands. You selected number 11 for your five pointer question, and here that corresponds to 1980s. And. Your five point question in the 1980s. Again, you have to answer, or Jimmy will win the triple threat via T. Okay. Oh. Okay, Shan, your five pointer in the category of 80s, and you have to answer this one. What 1986 movie was the last feature film of Irene Handel? I think this is the day my. Actually, runs out. Four. Five, four, three, two. But just repeat. One. Yeah, of course. Of course, Spaniard. <laughs> of course, let me say that name again. <laughs> what? Holy crap. A 1986 movie was the last feature film of Irene Handel. <laughs> Do you know who this person is, is Max? How do people remember this stuff? I mean, if you're, you know, Ben Bateman or, or Mike Kalinowski, maybe. Really? <sighs> Five, four, three, two. Easy, one more. Okay. <laughs> what 1986 movie was the last feature film of Irene Handel? Three, 
two, one. Each time your answer? Emma. That's incorrect. We were looking for absolute and beginners. Your winner! By double technical knockout, the final score was 16 2 9. It is Nichols himself, the hazard, Jimmy Derry! Wow! What the answer? Uh, absolute beginners. <laughs> I think that was L for the post match interviews, maybe? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, somebody, hold on. Somebody's knocking at the door, hold on. Um. Alright. Oh. Well. Hey, you're not supposed to be here, you're supposed to be at the Elks Lodge. You'll come to my place, you go to the Elks Lodge for this, alright? Jeez. <laughs> I figure this out, you better smart than well, maybe not. Alright. He'll be, right? <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, you think these people would learn where they're supposed to go? They don't come to my house. They gotta go to the Elks Lodge. How do oh. they know where you live? That's a good question, but you know, the hillbilly himself, he's a good investigative journalist. He might have figured it out. They got me a little worried, though, but they're on their way up to the Ox Lodge right now for the post-match interviews. So, uh, uh, I hope you're ready, Ox, because you got some company coming. What's up, face-off fanatics? Here we are once again, back in the glorious Elks Lodge in southern Ontario. And I am here in the winner's circle with the queen, the goddess, the one who went... Uh, Jimmy Deary. Snacks, there's a typo. Snacks? It oh, hi Jimmy. Um congratulations, I guess. I'm sorry if you did you see this? Yes, sir. How are you, Elk? Are you feeling good? <laughs> I am a wonderful man, as you know, always exciting, always well-dressed, and of course, always professional. So I'll say congratulations to you, Jimmy Deary, on your hard-fought victory today. Double TKO over two very worthy competitors, or one at least. How are you feeling now that you're back in the tournament? Uh, well, it's a bittersweet win, because uh, so Gregory, is that really a win? I guess, but it's a double TKO, so I'm gonna take it. And shout out to uh, that nice colors, Canada. Well, you know me, Jimmy, usually always cheering for my country. We are, after all, the greatest nation in the entire world, giving such gifts to you all as James Cameron, Poutine, Jim Carrey, all sorts of wonderful things to spend your time. And we apparently gave you the winner of today's match as well, Jimmy Deary. Jimmy, moving on to Grant Gregory, this is gonna be a tough challenge for you. I'm sure Dollface would have walked through that if the questions hadn't been so rough in today's match. Counterfeit commissioner <laughs> is pulling the strings in the back, I'm sure. But you're gonna have a bit more of a challenge coming up against you. How do you feel going up against Grant Gregory? Do I always have to face people from Australia? Right? Because I lost against Jake the last match. I'm going to lose against, against Greg. So for all the matters, I better go on vacation right away and never come back, right? That was the plan. Well, you can always come up here and visit me in the Elks Lodge, although I might have some dollhouse competitors hanging out. They may not be very happy with you at the moment, Jimmy. They call him Mr. Extradition, but there is no extradition once the dollhouse has you in their sights. He is, however, moving on into the tournament. Thank you very much for joining me here in the Elks Lodge, Jimmy Deary. Craft Services is over there. You can enjoy it until I decide to kick you on out of here, which I will be doing soon. We're going to be right back with his opponent and probably a much more noble individual, Ishan Bajpai, coming up next. Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the home of the most exciting man, the hardest working man in face off. It is me, Andrew the Elk Elk, and I am joined today by Ishan, the Kingslayer Bajpai. That's right, he earned the name, but he couldn't earn the victory today. Ishan, my condolences and welcome, sir. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, no, hold on, wait. Look, man, I don't know what happened. Uh, I don't know what kind of backwards Arkansas hillbilly damn GPS the fraction is using. These guys showed up on my doorstep wanting to know where he's. So, uh, I, dude, you might have given them wrong directions or something, but next, send them to the Elks Lodge where they're supposed to be, all right? Hey, look, 
You're gonna be. They're gonna be coming through your door. Hey, dude. I don't look. Whatever, Andrew. It's on you now, buddy. You take care of this. I'm gone. What's What's going on? You, who's? Oi, oi! I'm surrounded, snacks. <laughs> oh, dear God. We uh, honestly, we didn't want to go to the Elks Lodge because you suck. Uh, this got the Illuminati written all over it. And I know and that you want. I, I know that the standard fellas in there. What the law? I know that they're Jimmy. Like, you know, what the fuck are those questions about? Seriously, man. Like, like what guys, the hell? I know that. Nick, I'm sorry. You can go drop that. You know, I also have high suspicion. I don't have the trust in you. Gentlemen, 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 and I use that term very, very loosely. It's a bunch of Looney Tunes running the show. Bollocks. Finally, the hillbilly says something I agree with. There are some crazy people running the show here in the face off, but there's some crazy people in here right now. Sonny D's hands are going to get tired. I'm going to run out of sandwiches on the table. The big sal is already cleared out. I can see it right now. You're here. Yes. You're the fraction. We all know who you are. What's up, guys? We just said spot a boy. Not right, he'll. That's right. I nice to see you. a show of support for one of our competitors here. And obviously, four strong competitors in the league, all four of you. Up. The factions are coming together. The fractions are coming together. And I got right here in the Elks Lodge some of the parts out there lost this match he's out of the tournament what is there to say minor inconvenience step don't worry he'll regain his footing we're gonna help him get there like at the end of the day jim is a very good competitor and a free way is such a different match than the singles match if this was a singles match each one would have had it hands down exactly absolutely right it was that weird doll person it's just an opportunity to refill it. This isn't an ending, it's just another beginning. How come you didn't refill Lost doesn't sting that much? I'm Lizio. All of them by my side, you must say that. Motley crew we've got here. Dysfunctional family, if ever I've <laughs> seen one. They're eating all my food. They're taking up all your time in the Elks Lodge if you have a match. But for now, let's just go ahead. I'm going to go to you, Ishan, and I want you to answer for me. Gentlemen, you can chime in a little bit later, but Ishan, just you. Let's talk about this match. You fought pretty hard out there. You had a pretty good match. Couldn't quite, quite Irene handle it in that final question, but you got to the end of the match and almost threw it back. A loss. Keep talking about the five pointer. I think I just want to keep talking about that. I don't want to talk about my first round, my second round, my two pointer, my three pointer, nothing. <laughs> I just want to talk about that five pointer and where that came from. <laughs> I mean, I was like, okay, maybe I can get something. Heard the question and I heard Irene handle and I heard the Spaniard trying to spelling and I'm like, I'm gonna pull this out of my ass. And the five point luck ran out. What can I say? I guess that's it. I you saw my father once, Elk. It's my turn now. But I'm not here to brag, Ishan. I'm sorry about that five pointer you got. Mm -hmm. But on the bright side of things, I'm here to announce to you good news. You know the Harry Potter match coming up? Yeah. You did the audition? Yeah. Well, let me tell you, you won the audition. Okay. With seven points ahead. Well, you're the only one who got all six. Five points. You damn right, you're in the match. I mean, I know right? my Harry Potter. Yeah, good job. That's all I have. Yeah, okay. back to you. I get to take it back over. Finally, it's back to me, the man you all came to see here in the Elks Lodge, Ishan Bajpai. Let me just say to you quickly, before anybody else shows up, <laughs> hey, hey. Deserve for competitors. <laughs> Before we get any more interruptions, I know there's somebody else out here who wants to come in and hang out, and it's always a party at the Elks Lodge, but today Ishan Bajpai couldn't quite pull out the victory. Exciting news, you do have backup. 
for action. You are making it into that Harry Potter exhibition match. I wish you the best of luck. And if you ever want to face off in Harry Potter knowledge, obviously there's at least one other man in this room who could probably take it a task for you today we're going to take it back right now to david the spaniard garcia aka the counterfeit commissioner and dj snacks the man who is going to be receiving an angry phone call from me in just a couple of minutes i did not invite all these people here get back to you i see y'all i see the illuminati All right, we're back from the Elks Lodge and all of that madness. The fraction, I guess it's out there and about now. We all know what's going on. That was so, messy. So, David, what do you think of all that noise? Yeah, messy is a good way to put it. I mean, <sighs> but let's be honest. Were, you, were we expecting anything anything else from the fraction? Then, you know. No. I mean, I think the Hillbill is the only one in the entire league that would end up getting to Canada by coming to Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> or me, because I don't know stuff up there yeah it, it's it's good well again i want to send a th thank you out there today to my partner on the desk for these singles matches that's a wonderful job david the spaniard garcia thank you sir appreciate all your hard efforts all three competitors today dollface the kingslayer ishan bajpai and hazard tinkles jimmy Derry. on um, congratulations on his win he gets to go play greg gregory for that play-in spot into the tournament for the second round uh, I guess I should thank the Fraction for showing up and supporting their guy. Whatever. The Fraction. Yeah. Go back to school and learn your maths. That's not directed at you, Spaniard. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> you see down there all the names coming across there. You know who they are. The editors, the writers, the social media team, the graphics guys. Uh, everybody that works to make these matches as great as they make them look. You're going to they see do them. it all for you. You're going to see them down there. Yeah down there make sure you say hi to them in the discord make sure you thank them for all the effort they put in and of course you the face-off fanatics out there putting in all the effort to watch these matches like share subscribe comment down below follow us on the social medias facebook page facebook group uh twitter instagram we got lots of good stuff going on there uh and of course the uh merchandise you can get at tpublic.com slash users slash ntfo like our friend David over there is wearing. Get your gear over there. And I'm going to say it just like I always do. Remember, be excellent to each other.